she just wants to go sit in the water and let the salt water come up. She says, I don't want to go shopping. I just want to stay in a bed and breakfast and get to the beach and lay in the water. And I hope she has beautiful weather and a wonderful fun time. She deserves it. Okay, we're going to our third flower. And this one... I think I'm going to put a pop of red in this background. So we're going to use, this is lipstick. Lipstick. Satin lipstick. This ought to be good and bright. Oh, yummy. That's what it is, it's lipstick. Get my brush. Oh yeah, that's going to look pretty there. A um, friend that was cleaning out my yard, helping me clean out the yard, I guess she got into some, I didn't know I had poison ivy, but I guess she got into this poison ivy and she's all broke out all over her legs. I didn't know I don't even know what poison ivy looks like. I know we had some stinging bushes back in there, weeds that we call it uh, in Utah we call it stinging nettle. And I knew there was some of that and I'm wondering if she didn't get get some of that on her. Because I, I don't know what poison ivy even looks like. I'm going to have to look on the internet. I don't even know. I've never been around it. I've heard people talk about it. And watch out for the, when you go pee in the woods, to watch out for the poison ivy. It will get you. I guess I was lucky all the times that I went camping and I peed in the woods that I didn't come across any poison ivy. I'm a lucky girl. Yeah. So, this looks pretty. This red on here. Liking it. And I will probably do some doodles on this before it's all done and said off camera when I'm just sitting here watching YouTube videos or whatever. I'll probably sit here and doodle some pens or something on it. But for right now, I'm just getting paint down on it and making it look pretty. And yeah, I'm liking it. And I'll make a book. This will be my cover for my book. Make a journal. I'm liking this kind of painting because I don't get my fingers in it so much. I'm thinking this is going to turn out really nice. our outside of our flowers. Now, uh, 
I'm going to take the end of my paintbrush, the bottom of it, and this is called, I can't, I think it's called Cannonball. I can't, it's got, the writing is so small and it's got a nick in the paper, so I can't read it. I don't know, but it looks white to me, so that's what I'm putting down is some white in the center of these. Flowers. I'm just going to dip it in here and go boink. Looks nice, huh? That's easy to do. Don't spill the paint, Nancy. Don't spill the paint. That looks kind of strange up there with that other circle around it in the wrong place, but oh well. It's not perfect. Can you see what I'm doing? let all this dry let it sit and mull around a little bit what I might end up doing to it again I don't know but anyway here's my paper my fabric paper I love it I am loving it and it's so pliable just loving it. So, if you have never made fabric paper, give this a try because it's really fun and it really turns out interesting to say the least. And it's a lot of fun and yeah. So, okay, I'm going to go for now and if I do any more to this, I'll bring it back on and show it to you um, so thanks for watching and go check out the hashtag because y'all want to get in on that hashtag love summer art and we're gonna blow up YouTube so we're gonna get all kinds of recognition all right Thanks everyone. Thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Thanks. Bye-bye.